Boba Fett, formerly useless he who got beaten by a blind man with a paddle. Yeah, the same guy as this. It's amazing what slowly digesting over a thousand years does for you. And in this video, I'm going to take you through all the actors who have played him in live action, because it's kind of complicated, with a few extra honourable non-live action mentions as well. We start with Jeremy Bullock, the original B.O.B.A., who passed away in December 2020 at 75, just as his character made a Mando comeback. Born in Leicestershire, England, Jeremy had numerous TV and theatre credits before becoming Coming the original movie Boba Fett. And despite only saying 27 words with minimal screen time, he brought the iconic movement and call to the character, which as he told me in 2015 was inspired by Clint Eastwood. In the stiller he is, it's Clint Eastwood. You know, fistful of dollars. Was that the inspiration the, uh, then for, for me? Yes. Yeah. But Jeremy didn't actually say those 27 words. Not in the final film, anyway. That role went to American actor Jason Wingree. As you wish. Who had also appeared in the original Star Trek series in the 60s. He died aged 95 in 2015. His voice was, of course, eventually changed to the dulcet tones of Tamora Morrison in the 2004 DVD version of Empire to tie in with the prequels. As you wish. More on him later. Now, Jeremy wasn't the only human man to don the suit in the original trilogy. With nobody available to play an Imperial officer on Cloud City, Bullock stood in. And John Morton, whose face couldn't be seen as he played rebel pilot Dak Rolter on Hoth, covered as a body double for Fett when the character confronts Vader in the Bespin hallway during the torture of Han Solo. <laughs> In the 1997 special edition versions, ILM artist Mark Austin portrayed Fett in A New Hope, and fellow special effects artist, model engineer Don Bays donned the outfit in Return of the Jedi during the new Jabba Palace scenes. Boba Flirt. And another ILM employee, Nelson Hall, stood in for the special edition insert shot of Boba walking behind Jabba during ugh, Jedi Rocks. Moving on to the prequels, when New Zealand actor Daniel Logan played the young Boba Fett in 2000. And two's Attack of the Clones. He also lent his voice to the character in a number of episodes of The Clone Wars. George Lucas allowed Logan to give his own interpretation of the character, and one of the ways he prepared was by reading Star Wars The Visual Dictionary, which is basically all that I did as a kid, and I wasn't even in a Star Wars. Right then, in the same film, fellow Kiwi Tamira Morrison played Boba's dad Django, and fast forward almost two decades, and he now plays the fictional son to his fictional dad in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. Which brings us right up to date, but we're not done yet. Let's go right back to the start for some honourable mentions. Don Franks voiced the cartoon version in the infamous Holiday Special. I know this sleeping virus the Empire uses on its enemies. The first look we got at the character. Dwayne Dunham was technically the first ever Boba Fett, wearing the white Boba test suit, and he made an appearance as coloured Boba Fett in September 78, a month before the Holiday Special came out and began its ongoing assault on George Lucas's pride. By the way, Alan Harris, who went on to play fellow bounty hunter Bosk, actually had the original white suit modelled on his body, and apparently also doubled for Jeremy Bullock for a time in Empire as well. So does that make him the original Boba? I can't keep up. And finally, a mention for the all-important stunt performers, of which there's been seven in total. Dickie Beer, Bob Yerkes, Glenn Randall Jr., Louis Friedman, Eddie Perez, Kirk Jenkins, and Scott Lang. And let's not forget, whoever this guy is. So, who's your favourite Boba? Did I miss one out? Go on, crush me in the comments, and hit that like button while you're at it.